there is the mystery of the night time when you sleep and you wake up in the morning lots of things happen you are refreshed you are encouraged God blesses you with a gift of a new day to be able to remedy the mistakes of yesterday so when you wake up hallelujah your spirit is alive when you go back while you sleep you think of all the things that happen in the day and scriptures begin to well up in your spirit is another opportunity God is still faithful at that point you have not heard the third voice any voice of the flesh that's the point where the Holy Spirit is able to speak to you and you rise up with faith and you know that you are able to face your day hallelujah that is the time you can begin to praise and worship God and you are not thinking I have to rush I have to cook I have to do this I have to do that welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee and my flesh longs for thee in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. And this is why I seek thee, to see thy power and thy glory, as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. It's a privilege to bring the word of God. I appreciate it. Hallelujah. There's something about seeking God early in the morning. The Bible begins to speak to us. In Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16, it says, This I say then, walk ye in the spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. It says, For the flesh lusted after the spirit, and the spirit after the flesh. And, and he began to tell us that there is always a contention, hallelujah, between the flesh, the workings of the flesh, and the spirit, hallelujah, that they operate on two different laws. In Romans chapter 7, the apostle began to communicate a lamentation in his spirit and he says with my spirit I serve the Lord but in my body I see another law working in my members hallelujah he says so that the things that I desire to do I do not find myself doing them and then the things I do not want to do I find out that there is something compelling me to do them and he said oh wretched man that I am shall deliver me from this body of death he was communicating a frustration hallelujah because he found out that just like Cain and Abel two people a type of the spirit and the flesh they all came out from the same womb but they exhibited two characteristics there were two different laws at work in them hallelujah So when you rise up in the morning, as your day begins, there are several things that are able to wrestle the fervency of your spirit. Bad news, people looking for your trouble, all kinds of news that you hear, decisions you have to take, difficult people. And the Bible tells us that these things have a way of watering down your spirit. Hallelujah. By noon, for many of us, you are already discouraged. The landlord is coming for his rent. Something happens. So the psalmist was showing us a key. He said, Any will I seek you. There is a mystery behind seeking him in the morning. Because at that time, many things that are able to challenge your spirit, that is the point of silence. Hallelujah. Where your spirit is able to connect to God, there is minimal encumbrance. There are no weights that your spirit have to fight with. There is the mystery of the night time. When you sleep and you wake up in the morning, lots of things happen. You are refreshed. You are encouraged. God blesses you with a gift of a new day to be able to remedy the mistakes of yesterday. So when you wake up, hallelujah, your spirit is alive. 
when you go back while you sleep you think of all the things that happen in the day and scriptures begin to well up in your spirit is another opportunity God is still faithful at that point you have not heard the third voice any voice of the flesh that's the point where the Holy Spirit is able to speak to you and you rise up with faith and you know that you are able to face your day hallelujah that is the time you can begin to praise and worship God and you are not thinking I have to rush I have to cook I have to do this I have to do that he says early in the morning I want to see your power and your glory in my life but I know the secret is to seek you early the Bible says those who seek me early will find me that means God is not available all the time let me tell you something that will shock you the presence of God is there all the time but there, are, there is a protocol to the glory. It doesn't just come anytime you want. Are you following me now? The Jews understood this. There were times and moments where the portals of heaven will be opened in an unusual way. And even unbelievers understand this mystery and they call it the womb of the morning. Hallelujah when you can worship him in spirit and in truth that's when you can worship him you are not you're not worried and bothered about the things the encumbrances and that is the time you receive power great strength and power that is the time you do business with the spirit early in the morning he begins to communicate to you his counsel for the day let our king be lifted high. Oh, oh, son. Oh, son. As soon as you are getting to school, something is happening. You have built spiritual fortification and you will not allow. This is the secret to conquering the flesh. Hallelujah. And you get up and you are just blessing the Lord. Father, thank you. I believe your word alone. I believe your word alone. And the spirit of God begins to communicate to you. And you begin to pray in the morning. You authorize heaven. He told Job, he said, has thou commanded thy morning? Not your afternoon. You command your morning. Your morning commands every part of your day. Has thou commanded thy morning? Hallelujah. A lot of believers just get up and we just do everything we want to do. And we find out that we, our lives in the day are a product of time a product of chance, a product of luck, all kinds of avoidable mistakes. Hallelujah. Do you know 
that every time you pray in the morning, it looks like there is an unusual grace to just flow. You are just praying. You are not seeing anybody walking around. You are not seeing anybody distracting you. It's just you and God alone. And you can worship and pray. And you find out that there is an unusual open heavens. At that point, you can trust the voice you hear. Because there's, you are not worshipping God out of anger. You are not worshipping God out of tiredness. You are strong. And you can hear his voice. The Bible says, Samuel lay close to the ark. And he had the voice of God. That was the secret. He was close to the ark.